हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो टूडेज क्वेश्चन नंबर इज थर्टी फाइव थर्टी चिल्ड्रंस व आस्क अबाउट नंबर ऑफ आर्स दे यूज मोबाइल इन लास्ट मंथ द रिजल्ट्स आर रिकॉर्डेड एट फॉलोज कंस्ट्रक्ट ए ग्रुप फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल विद ए कैश इंटरवल जीरो टू फाइव फाइव टू टेन एक्सेट्रा ऑफ इक्वल सेज विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस टेबल आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन लेक्स कंस्ट्रक्ट दी हाँ टेबल क्लास इंटरवल दे हैव गिवन जीरो टू फाइव फाइव टू टेन टेक सो जीरो टू फाइव फाइव टू टेन टेन टू फिफ्टीन हाइएस्ट नंबर इज थर्टी सो आई एम टेकिंग टिल थर्टी टू थर्टी फाइव सो जीरो टू फाइव बिटवीन जीरो टू फाइव हाउ मेनी हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर देर सो जीरो टू फाइव मीन्स डोंट कंसिडर फाइव जीरो टू फोर टिल जीरो टू फोर सो हियर ओनली वन देन फाइव टू टेन सो फाइव टू नाइन दैट मीन्स so i have already constructed so total number of students is 30 came so table is constructed now answer the following question find the number of students who use mobile less than 10 hours so less than 10 hours means these two category means 19711 plus 7 8 so here number of students who used mobile less than 10 hours is 8 students next second question find the number of students who used mobile more than 25 hours more than 25 means from here these two category 2 plus 1 3 so number of students who used mobile more than 25 hours is 3 students so next come to next question prove that angle opposite angle angles opposite to equal sides of isosceles triangles are equal this is theorem 1 so it has a theorem 2 and theorem 3 also check it in your textbook so this is theorem 1 so two isosceles triangle that means two sides are equal we have to prove these two angles are also equal so given isosceles triangle abc this is isosceles triangle abc that means ab is equal to ac to prove we have to prove angle b is equal to angle c So let's construct draw a bisector of A intersecting BC at D. Draw a bisector of A intersecting BC at point D. Proof in take two triangle take BED and CED. Now uh, prove that these two triangles are congruent by a <coughs> data and angle and common. These two triangles are congruent. So by a series postulate, these two angles are also equal. Hence, the proof is this one is proved. Next, come to question number thirty-seven. So x minus one is one of the factor of p of x. Find the value of k and also find the another factor of the given polynomial. So here one factor is given that is x minus one is equal to zero. So x is equal to minus one comes here means plus one. Take this polynomial, put x value one. So where is x? Put one there. So you will get the k value. That is, you will get k value one. So one factor is given. Another one factor we have to find. Substitute the k value k value here. So that becomes four x square minus three x minus one is equal to zero. Factorization. Factorize it. You will get the another factor of the polynomial. Another factor of this given polynomial is minus one by four. One is given. So minus one by four we have to find. So this carries four marks. Next, come to last question of this paper. It carries five marks. The circumference and height of a right circular cylinder are forty-four centimeter and twenty-four centimeter respectively. That is, circumference is also given, height is also given. Find its volume. So we have to find volume. Also find the volume and curved surface area of the cone. Whose radius and height are same as the given cylinder. So this is cylinder. Let's take cylinder. Height is given twenty four, and circumference of this circle is forty four centimeter. By circumference, we can find the radius first. So see, H is given, and circumference is also given. Circumference formula: circumference is equal to two pi r. So circumference is forty four. Two as it is, pi value is twenty two by seven. R we have to find. So by calculating, we'll get the value. R. So now volume of cylinder formula is pi r square h. Pi value is twenty two by seven. R we found seven into seven that is r square into height is given twenty four. Uh, solve this, we will get the, the volume of the cylinder. So now also find the curved surface area of the cone and radius and height are same. So curved surface area of the cone we have to find out. Height is given, r is given. 
so r is 7 cm h is cone volume of cone formula is 1 by 3 pi r square h 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 r square means 7 into 7 height is given 24 so all this you will get the volume of the cone also after volume of the cone we have to find curved surface area so curved surface area formula is curved surface area of cone is pi r l we don't have l here we have to find l value h is given 24 r is we know 7 centimeter find l by applying pythagoras theorem l is equal to square root of r square plus h square r is 7 h is 24 so if you solve this you will get the l 25 so find the curved surface area of the cone to um, sorry pi r l pi value is 22 by 7 r is 7 into 25 solving this you will get the 550 square centimeter this is curved surface area of the cone so this is ninth standard question paper fully solved thanks for watching and subscribe the channel for next paper bye, -bye.